Hello, welcome to Beach Bum Creations. My name's Tom, and on this channel, we will show you how to take the items you found on the beach and turn them into lifelong memories using resin. So, if you like our videos, hit the like and subscribe to our channel. We go and show you how to clean the shells, how to make the wood tables, everything like that. So, hope you enjoy them. Thank you. back to Beach Bum Creations. I went and found this rock with some seaweed growing out of it. <laughs> Looks pretty neat. When I found this on the beach, just this very tips were sticking out of the sand. So I started digging and digging and I got down to this, <laughs> this rock and I said, huh, this is nice. <laughs> So I said, I'm going to make a wall hanging out of this. So I brought it back and kind of flattened the back area right here a little bit and drilled a hole. And that's how I'm going to hang it. See all the neat stuff on the bottom. You won't be able to see this after I make what I'm making. But this hole is going to hang on a screw. And I can show you how it's going to hang. Right now, this is hanging there. And that screw right there. And let me set this down. Show you how this, this hole right here, will go on this screw right there. So there you go. So it's going to hang on the wall like that. And it's going to have, I'm going to put water around the edges and some water running down here few things on it, not much. I like it just the way it is almost, but we're going to see. All right, welcome back. Um, this is Tom. I'm still working on this here uh, wall hanging. It's just some seaweed stuck to a rock. And these are the shells I'm going to put on it, along with a couple crabs and uh, another piece of seaweed. And this crab here, a hermit crab. And then over here we have this one, that's a mango crab. And there's about uh, 35 varieties of shells here. And then there's more shells than 35 like this. This is a Sunray Venus, and these two smaller ones are also Sunray Venus. So they just look different. So, but there's a whole bunch. <laughs> They're not all going on here necessarily because these are the ones I'm going to try to fit on there. I don't know exactly how I'm going to pour it yet. I'm just going to pour the resin right inside there. The, the rock won't be there um, when I pour it. I'll just pour and however it goes, it goes. And then when it starts hardening up, I'll put the stone in it so it's secured to it. So that's the base. The blue will be like the water. Underneath here, I have some Atlantic cockles, you can see. And that's how I adjust the size of the uh, pour, because the resin will just pour out into here, and then when it gets to the high point where the shell is, it stops running that way. <laughs> so that's how I make my shapes. At any rate, I got 100 grams of part A and 50 grams of part B in here. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna have this blue and uh, the one I'm, I'm going to use two different ones, the traffic blue here, and I'm going to mix it with this blue-green, give it a little darker greenish look, along with, uh, I'm going to mix these ocean blue glitter along with this sapphire blue, which is a, more of a purplish look to it, to give it a little different look. And uh, I'll sprinkle some of these little bits of pieces Make it look as if it's sand. So there we go, we're getting ready as usual. You wanna have your alcohol, your paper towel, 
and your heat gun ready to go in case you need it. And uh, we'll go ahead and mix it up and then do the pour and I'll come back. All right, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I have poured the blue, the base, and I've set the shells on there and the crabs. And they're just sitting there right now. There's nothing holding them. The, the blue is a little sticky, but I let it get hard enough so that they wouldn't sink in. The only one is the rock, the heavy rock. Things <sighs> pretty big. And we got another crab right here coming out of this pink mouth murex. The paper fig. So at any rate, this is a. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like. We'll see, I'm gonna pour some clear over it to seal everything. And uh, we'll see how it looks tomorrow morning. All right, good morning, this is Tom. I'm back with this uh, project here. Uh, you can see I poured the clear, it's just the next morning. Poured the clear yesterday and it's all hard. I just have to go around and cut this clear off all around the edges and uh, polish it, and it'll be complete. Okay, here we have item number 128. It's a wall hanging with some seaweed, it's kind of an orangish brown seaweed, and uh, it was attached. You can see that creamy stuff. That's kind of the way it was attached to this rock. At any rate, I added some shells. There's 25 different uh, types of shells on this. There's more than 25 shells, but there's 25 types. And there's two crabs. There's a little hermit crab coming out of this pink mouth murex, sunray venus. There's a paper fig, and there's another mangrove crab down here. A king crown. Angel wing, some cones. There's a turkey wing right there. There's an Atlantic cockle, calico. There's an angel wing there, different type. I don't know what that is, or that one there. It's a sand dollar. There's a comb Venus there. There's tiger paw. I don't know what those are called, I can't remember. Maybe some calicos, some barbed, whatever they are, I don't know. At any rate, there's another piece of seaweed over here too. Anyway, this is it. It's a wall hanging, item number 128. Try to get a side view of it. <laughs> 